Hi folks, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Pic Collage. Now, Pic Collage is an iOS app, and with this app you can essentially make, you know, kind of a digital poster. Now, just like any other tech tool, a digital poster or a Pic Collage could be used in a very low level way or depending on how you use it, it could be used in a higher order thinking skill activity. So I just want to encourage you to kind of think about how you're going to utilize this with your students before you assign your students a pick collage activity. So I thought I would kind of open up uh, today's tech talk by showing you some examples of things my students have created and then to give you just a couple of ideas of how to incorporate this in your instruction um, in your iPad classroom with your students. All right, so this is an example of something that, that my kids did. They were comparing and contrasting Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And for seventh grade social studies in the state of Georgia, that is one of our standards. And so they had to come up with some ways that they are similar, some ways that they are different and unique from one another, and some things that they all have in common together. Comparing and contrasting is always a good way to up the rigor in any lesson that you're teaching. And so, you know, I felt like this particular activity lent itself very well to the kids creating a pic collage. So these are just some examples of some of the pic collages that they created uh, to compare and contrast these three religions from the Middle East. So now that you kind of have an idea of what pic collage can do, let me give you some other ideas of how it can be utilized in the classroom. Have you ever heard of the Freyer diagram? Well, these are examples of some Freyer uh, models. In the center, you would have your vocabulary word or your concept, and you would have your kids kind of write around the side um, in different boxes. So essential characteristics or definition sometimes, examples, non-examples, non-essential characteristics. Here's another example up here, definitions, characteristics, non-examples, examples, um, image representation. So a uh, pic collage could lend itself very well, I think, to a Freyer diagram as well. Another idea of how you could use pic collage in the classroom is uh, one that a friend of mine, Miss Bernadine Porter, taught me. She suggested a CSI activity, and that stands for color, symbol, image. So they have to take a point of view or a concept and come up with a color that represents that point of view or that concept. And they have to explain why they chose that particular color. Then they have to come up with a symbol to represent that concept. And they have to tell you why they chose that symbol to represent that concept. So it definitely pushes the kids to think, use their critical thinking skills. So it's not only, you know, pick a color, a symbol, and an image, but you have to back that up with evidence and supporting details as to why you are assigning that color to that concept or to that point of view, that symbol to that concept or to that point of view, and that image to that concept or to that point of view. So let's get started with Pic Collage. Okay, so as I said, it's an iOS app, so I'm going to go ahead and search for Pic Collage. Here it is. And all you have to do actually is just tap to create a new Pic Collage. So I'm going to go ahead and tap my screen here. And you can tap anywhere to add a photo, but let's just kind of look at our buttons here. So I'm going to go down here in the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to tap that button and I'm going to click on change the layout. So now you can see all the different layout options that your students will have to choose from. So, the, you know, this is another example of why it could lend itself well to a Freyer diagram model. Um, and the kids can pick from any of these particular options that they want to, to use, or they could kick, pick a blank canvas, which is what's selected here. So I am actually going to pick, I am going to pick this one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close my layout option here. And now I can change my background. So I can tap on that and I can pick from, oh, a multitude of backgrounds um, to make my, my pic collage look differently. So let's pick light blue. All right.
So now I have my palette on which to um, put my, my pic collages. So I'm going to click, I can tap, for instance, and it gives me some options. So I can go into my photos, my camera roll, and pull images from there. I can actually search uh, for photos from the web directly from here. I can add text, and I can add stick. So I'm gonna, I've already collected my images by using an app called Haiku Deck, and I'm going to go ahead and pull one of my images onto my pic collage. All right, um, so I have my image in here, and as you can see, I can move it around my palette here, and I can make it bigger or make it smaller. So what I want to differentiate here is I, I'm going to do one that's basically what, is, what a dictatorship is and what a dictatorship is not. So I'm actually going to add some text here. Oops, I actually hit sticker on accident there. I'm going to add some text. And I can change my font here. So I'm going to click done and I'm going to actually move this up to the top. And I'm going to add some more text. You can actually turn it to the side. You can stretch it to make it bigger, shrink it, pinch it to make it smaller. Okay, so a dictatorship is not voting, not free elections. And I'm going to go ahead and add some more photos here from my camera roll. Okay, so I'm actually comparing and contrasting um, uh, Sudan and South Africa. This is one of the government standards in seventh grade social studies. So a dictatorship is obeying. So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to squish this image down and put it up here in the top. So a dictatorship is obeying and it is not voting. Okay, so I'm going to add another image here. And I'm going to pick the president of Sudan. And I'm going to bring him up here because he is the dictator of Sudan. And let's see what else I have in my camera roll. Uh, oh, I have a map of Sudan as well. So I'm actually going to go ahead and leave that as my, my background. Okay, so it is obeying, and here's a picture of a dictator. And then it is not... Uh, Jacob Zuma, who is the president of South Africa. Okay, so at the top I have a dictatorship is, it's obeying, not voting. And I have my picture of my dictator from Sudan. And at the bottom, I have a dictatorship is not free elections. It's not what South Africa has. And it's not Jacob Zuma, who is the leader of South Africa. All right, so now I am finished with my pic collage. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this little share button down in the corner. And now I can actually save it to my photo library which is one of the options down here so I'm gonna turn it off I don't want it to post to pic collage but I am gonna save it to my library so now I can close this out and I can go into my camera roll and my pic collage is right here in my camera roll so what your students can do from this point is um, they can actually upload their pic collage to a Padlet wall or to Edmodo or to some place where you want them to, to turn it into you. And that is pic collage. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.